Good day and welcome to Alaska Spice TV. Uh, today we'll be looking at Unab the Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, arrested by the federal government and uh, reportedly back in the country. So today is Wednesday and um, my name is Harry and thank you for joining me out there. I hope you're well. So today I have, uh, I would like us to discuss a few things about the arrest of Unam Dikano, all right? Well, I'm sure that even Shikin and Fawa, everybody know who Unam Dikano is. I'm just kidding. But in a real sense, I'm trying to say that a lot of us know who Unam Dikano is. And uh, his, his, his influence in the East and as well as the politics of Nigeria. And which is why I, I come out here today for us to have a sense of reasoning according to the reports that is going on across the internet right now. So the federal government, according to the state, the press briefing by uh, the Astonic General of the Federation, Mr. Abubakar Malawi, who came on the Chinese news television to let Nigerians know that Unam the Kano has been intercepted. Intercepted. And uh, I would like us to look at the word intercepted because I don't, want, I just want to bring, like, kind of bring out a point for us to have a, a reasoning today. So I have a few things here I want to talk about. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just have six points for us to talk about briefly, and I will try to be. Uh, as fast as I can and also be as brief as I can. So Malawi said, uh, I mean Malami, his, his name is also sound like Malawi. So uh, excuse my mistake, all right? So the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malawi, came to allow uh, Nigerians to know that uh, the leader of IPO, uh, Mazina Dekano, has been arrested with the help of the Interpol and uh, the DSS of Nigeria and he's reportedly back in the country and uh, none of us know where he is and he's to be charged to court for offenses and the breach of uh, bail and all that condition was that was given to him in 2015 before he escorted uh, nigeria so the word he used was intercept to look at the word the dictionary meaning of the word intercept it means to cut off to deflect or to obstruct something or someone, all right? So in this instance, the federal government came to let us know that Unam Dikano has been intercepted, but where? They didn't tell us, but there is a speculation, there's a, yeah, there is a news, there's a rumor in the, in the internet going around across blogs and the media platform that Unam Dikano was intercepted in Kenya which means there is a collaboration between the federal government and as well as the government of people of Kenya. All right? Now, how, and no, I mean, that is possible that there could be an interception, but they didn't tell us exactly another. So I want to quote one of the people that are, we know in Nigeria that we trust their judgment and their, their opinion in terms of the things that are happening. According to Reno Mokri, Reno Mokri said, that Unam the Kanu has not uh, has yet been arrested and he stands by his statement and he gave us instances of uh, extradition, all right? So to extradite someone, actually, you have to go in a, in a court of law and all that and you have to have a hearing and all that and all that. Then in my own research, I found out that he's right in his claim, but at the same time, extradition depends on the the, the 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 circumstances surrounding the situation of the person so uh that is that and that is means that there is a questionable uh uh character uh, questionable factors in the claim of the federal government that now the canon has been arrested so let's take that as a point number one intercepted where is it Nairobi or where? It's just a rumor. He did not tell Nigerians where Unam the Kano was intercepted. That's point number one. Point number two. APC is the most dreaded political party in the whole of Africa. That is to say, with APC, anything is possible. 
They have been deceiving Nigerians for so long. For the past six years, they've been in power. We Nigerians, we have seen the biggest lies, deception, and scam, and corruption, and all manner of negativities from this party so far. So with APC, anything is possible. Now, they know that the, the Southeast has been a huge unrest and there has been a lot of killings, okay? So, they would like to devise any means possible to make sure that the rest of the Eastern people or soldiers or the, the ESN people, security guard or whatsoever, they would like to devise means to like break them down or to calm their nerves or to reduce the tension that is in the East. So, it is highly possible that APC can devise a means to make sure that they come up with something like this to make people believe that Unab the Kana is actually in their custody when in reality is not. Then if that is the truth, Unab the Kano, as we know, point number three, Unab the Kano, as a man we know, if he's not being arrested, he would have made a statement. Point number four, if Unab the Kano has not been arrested, Definitely, he would be in everywhere on Facebook and others as usual, ranting and calling the people all manner of names and letting his followers know that he hasn't been arrested. And so far, we've not heard or seen anything like that about Unabdi Kanu. Then, that be said, I have seen people on the first post that I made coming out to say that, oh, we don't care, we expected Unabdi Kanu to be arrested, and uh, we, as a member of IPOP, we are ready, we are already thinking of his replacement. Really? Somebody who is taking a lot, huge risk, doing everything, keeping you people together. You have been saying that he's the Messiah, is this, is that, is this, is this. You believe in everything he's saying, he's your religion and all that. And suddenly the federal government come up with a scheme to say that he's arrested and you are already saying four days after his arrest that you're already thinking of his replacement. Having his replacement is not an issue here, but it's about do you actually believe or trust in the vision of this man? You claim that IPOP or Biafra is an ideology, which I believe, which a lot of people across the world believe. But ideology does not depend on one man. I, we also agree with that. But he has championed the cause of Biafra since uh, the depart of the general who actually started this fight many years ago in the, in the 70s, Ojuku. So now he's just been arrested according to the federal government and you're already thinking of his replacement and people are coming on social media making statements that yeah we don't really care we expected him to be arrested and we don't care whether he's arrested dead or alive he's going to we are going to move forward and biafra is unstoppable for me that statement is it, it, it contradicts the belief the strong uh ambitions the 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 energies all the belief and the fight that the biafra has demonstrated so far so for me i think that by now I, I, biafra has is been in years and i believe that it does not it evolve only around Unab the canon that is to say he has a certain numbers of people or people i remember i have seen something myself on the internet where he elected some people into positions and the people that he is working with in different parts of uh uh, uh eastern uh, part of nigeria okay so if this is the true re the reality of what things really is being before now we expected that the members of his executive or the entire ipod should come to make a statement to let the rest of Nigerians know because you might think that Biafra movement is only about the Biafra. That is not true. It involves every Nigeria because even before we, until we divide, the interest of all Nigerians is at the very heart of every Nigerian's home and abroad, including the one that you are listening to right now. So it is expected that the members of the IPOL that are in charge, working with Unam the Khan, who are in the same page with him, not those that are against him, those who are in the same page with him. It is expected that they make an official statement confirming that, yes, their leader has been arrested by the federal government, or the claim by the federal government is just uh, another APC uh, propaganda. They cannot just remain silent and coming on the Facebook or social media saying all oh, manner of things. Yes, we know it's expected and all that. For me, that contradicts the, the movement and it will make a lot of people not have faith in Biafra anymore. So, Biafra, I put this to you right now that after watching this video, we hope that members of an eligible, trusted 
member of the IPOP should make a statement confirming that their leader has been arrested. Nigerians need to know the truth. Thank you. Then the, number, the other part that I want us to be looking at is the part of the federal government ensuring that nothing happens to Una the Kano. If truly he has been arrested and is in their custody, they should ensure that nothing happens to him. His health, they, they should put him in a place where he will be well taken care of, at least in the average level. He should not be, uh, 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 what do I say, manhandled or maltreated. Because if anything happens to Una the Kano, that means that a lot is going to happen to our security or and our togetherness as a country because you cannot just kill someone who claim to be a freedom fighter of his people regardless of what is done and his breach of a, a, a base condition federal government must ensure that nothing happens to nam the all right so that is very very important for the peace for the stability of peace and the togetherness of Nigeria, the federal government must make sure that nothing happens to Nandi Kano. Then the next point I'm going to establish to us here is that his trial should be fair and open court hearing and should be televised for the whole world to see, not just Nigeria, for the whole world to see. So I'm going to appeal to, uh, I don't know, I should mention name, no, I should not mention name, but media platform in Nigeria, including all these... Uh, uh, bloggers and the rest of you should ensure that you have an access. They should be giving access to the court hearing of Unam the Khan. It should not be. It should not be uh, uh, put to uh, a private court hearing and whatsoever where people, things are happening and later reported back to Nigeria. No, if federal government really want to do something that will have the fate of Nigerians on their shoulder and on their path, they should ensure that the trial of Unam the Khan should be open it should be open trial it should be televised let nigerians know let us see what is happening and in that way we can maybe have some level of trust on the apc government and lastly the federal government should also let nigerians know when they are going to make an arrest of kidnappers they're going to make arrest of the bandits they're going to make arrest of the rest of the Boko Haram because it has been it was reported that uh, Abu Bakr, who is uh, who, who has been the leader of the Boko Haram, uh, uh, sent bomb himself and killed himself and all that. We never saw the video. It was just a report, which is a usual thing of Nigeria. Well, they only tell us a report. They never been. We have never seen uh, a live report of 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 this of events that are happening surrounding events that are happening around this insecurity problem of a thing. In, in the entire Nigeria, not just in the north, just entire Nigeria. We have not seen that. So if federal government can be so smart, fast thinking and fast moving in intercepting Unam the Kanu arrest for bridging their, their big condition given to him in 2015, then they should let us know when they are going to arrest the enemies within. Because we currently dealing with insecurity problem that people cannot just travel around the state, around the country, and uh, there's a lot of tension and all kind of things. And uh, we know that these people who are causing these things, they are not in abroad. These ones are in Nigeria. So if the federal government are so smart to be able to uh, have a bilateral agreement with uh, other countries to bring Una Bikano from abroad into the country to face the law. Nigerians are also more interested and even now when the federal government is going to arrest all these kidnappers, all these uh, all kinds of unnamed and unidentified ungone men, whatever, whatever, or non government and all that that are troubling the country. It should not just be a focus on only on the East. So these are the things that I feel like I should just let us know. And um, we're looking forward to more statements from uh, uh, the federal government on these things. And if, it, if more or less happen, then we will not get to believe. And they should give us the video proof that Unam the Kano is in the custody of the federal government of Nigeria. Thank you for listening to me today. My name is Harry and uh, talk and leave, no time to tell time. Sign up and please subscribe to my YouTube page.